in this video i will show you palo alto firewall lab setup so this is our lab topology we have hq firewall in the middle and it's connected to van okay this is a van and you know this is a pf sense to provide two different isp internet service provider 192.168.1 and 192.168.2 when one and when two so interface one slash one and one slash two are connected to isp one and isp two of the hq firewall one slash three is connected to lan subnet and one slash four is connected to dmz and this is a management interface for management purpose to access this firewall now we have a dmz zone we have a lan zone we have a van one and van two zone and we have a management subnet and the management we have panorama and we have active directory we are going to use this server 2016 for different purpose active directory dns ntp authentication server radius server and for many other purpose and the lan i connected a taker which is kali linux even though it has to be outside we can connect them to the cloud later on as well to attack on the lan side and dmz and the dmz we will create two sub interfaces one slash four will be divided into sub interfaces vlan 40 and vlan 50 so we have two different server and different zone server 1 and 10.0.4 and server 2 10.0.5 and dmz switch we will create two different vlan and this interface will be trunk so they can carry the traffic for vlan 40 and vlan 50 and the lane we have window 11 for authentication purpose and we're gonna use for basic browsing linux slack so this pc3 and pc2 is linux slacks and pc1 is window 11 these switches are just for connectivity purpose however here we will create vlan and this is a management cloud to access this firewall in my browser so the management subnet it will be different in your case this is the only thing which will be different in your case keep in mind the rest of the thing you can keep the same internal subnet is 10.0.1 dmz is 10.0.4 DMZ is 10.0.5 head, uh, head office ISP subnet is 192.168.1 and 2 main cloud is 172 because I connect my cloud this one you can connect your own active directory IP will be 100.230 uh, the HQ firewall IP address will be 100.200 management subnet I am using 192.168.100 Panorama IP will be 100.250 domain name will be test.local and we will create two VLAN so these are the IP schema for this topology okay and let's go to the Palo Alto firewall image we are gonna use in the lab is the latest one Palo Alto version 11 Panorama will be version 11.1 .1. Cisco switch I will use layer to this image for connectivity and VLAN Windows 11 will be as a client. Windows Server 2016 for multiple purpose is Active Directory, NTP, Radius, etc. PFSense I am using for multiple WAN connectivity. For normal browsing, we are going to use uh, Linux Slack as a client. Web Server I am using Tiny Core. These two web server which are in the DMZ zone. After that, for internet, I am using cloud. You can use management cloud to get the internet. So for 80% lay, we are going to use the same topology. For 20%, we will change the topology. Okay, so this is our lab topology. And if we go here, so this is our lab. I just connect this firewall. If I right click and go to edit. So what I done, I changed the name to HQ. This is Palo Alto uh, version 11 image okay which we upload previously and i keep the ram the default one you can increase and decrease cpu s2 and six interfaces i keep console vnc but you can change them to telnet as well okay and then i connect interface one slash 
1 to when and 1 slash 2 to when 2. Similarly, 1 slash 4 to DMZ switch, 1 slash 3 to LAN switch and management to management switch. Okay, and this is panorama connected to here and this is the active directory. So this is basically Windows Server 2016 R2 which we previously upload. And I changed the icon and this is the RAM and only one interface we are using which connected to management switch. And these are the IP schema. This is also management cloud so that I can access this firewall in my browser. Also to panorama in my browser. Also to take remote desktop to this server. So that's why I want this management cloud to access firewall, panorama and active directory directly in my host machine. This attacker is basically Kali Linux. I'm using Linux 2022. You can use any version for the attack purpose. And here PC1, as I say, if I right click, this is window 11 I'm using. And I change the icon to desktop and this is the RAM setting. This PC3 and PC2 is basically Linux Lake, which we upload previously. Okay, for normal connectivity and browsing purpose. And this is the switch we upload previously. I'm using this switch. You can use any switch. This WAN is basically a PF sense with six interfaces. Keep in mind. Okay, even though I'm not using other three interfaces, but still the when you drag them, there will be six interfaces. This server one and server two is a ready-made Linux tiny code, which I already share. You just need to download unzip and drag them and use them as a web server. I already make them as a SSH server, FTP server, web server. You don't need to do anything with the same setting. One interface, 4096 RAM, two CPU. Okay, and this is the NIC naming. And also this is also the uh, Linux tiny core as a web server and the DMZ. Okay, so this is our topology. Here I will connect later on another Linux leg to access this DMZ server from external because we will test them destination net we will do some attack on the server so for that purpose I need external one system to connect them to the cloud so you can connect many system to the cloud and then you can access these services from the outside okay also we will connect later on attacker here to attack on these two server as well and then we will protect them in our HQ firewall. So you get the idea. I just connect these devices to each other. You don't need to do all these from the scratch. As I say, I will export this topology. You just need to import the topology and your EVNG and start work on it straight away. And this is the IP schema. So when one is one, this is two. LAN is 10.0.1. Okay, management is 192.168.100. DMZ we have two zone 10.0.4 and 10.0.5. That's it, it's so simple. And here we assign them 1.2 IP, 1.1 IP, 1.3 and 1.20. Similarly, here we have 4.1 and here we have 5.2. That's it, so this is the way to set up a lab and EVE NG.